Corkscrew Hill offers double bang for your buck, being one of the hardest and one of the iconic climbs in Adelaide. I mean, who can forget Cadell Evans big ringing it over the top and absolutely smashing everyone off the back of it down Montacute Road. Oh man, it was epic. Unfortunately, Cadell doesn't feel the need to use Strava, so I don't know exactly how quick that was, but I'll come back and talk about that a bit later. The main Strava segment that I go by is 2.5 kilometers of 9%. And that gradient is quite stacked in the first half of the climb, you're pretty much at 10 to 12% straight away. And the first several hundred meters are a total grind, it's all very straight, it's not particularly interesting, and the gradient's very consistent. You just, ugh, settle in and spin through it. And speaking of grinding through it, this road has actually been Everested, that's right, Rob Wood Everested it, climbed it 40 something times. What a beast. I put a link to his ride in the description, head on over and give the man some kudos. And now back to business, about here is where the road really starts to get nasty. The gradient bites, it goes up to about 15% and you've got a wall ahead of you. Look at that shit. And you can't really see it in the video, but right about here, above that street sign to the right, you can see all of the corkscrew stretching off ahead of you, and it is really intimidating. But the good news is, the lead up to the corkscrews is by far the worst part, because it's just really steep and really straight. Once you're into the corkscrews, it gets a whole lot more enjoyable. These switchbacks are so awesome. Four hairpin bends, they're really steep, there's only about sort of 50 meters between them, so you just keep turning. Ah, it's so good. Once you've gotten yourself through the corkscrews, you've got a little bit more double digit until you hit about here, which is where the gradient slackens off, and funnily enough, exactly where Cadell Evans attacked in the Tour Down Under. And that's part of the reason it was such a great attack, he timed it to perfection. He smashed it up into the big ring and left everyone for dead. Now the most interesting part of the climb is over, so I'm going to talk about the fastest times up here. And I found an article that timed Cadell at 6 minutes and 30 seconds, but I don't know exactly where they started and ended it from. The current KOM holder on Strava is actually Paddy Bevan, who set it in the Tour of Adelaide earlier this year. He rides for the Avanti racing team, and he's freaking awesome. I was lucky enough to be there on the day watching him. So it can be pretty depressing when you get home and upload your ride to Strava, because there's so many races that go up here, you are just put in the shade by pro racers. But back to the actual footage. About here is where you can see the sign that tells you Montague Road is coming, and you have finished. Good job, buddy. Thank you, as always, for joining me on one of Adelaide's hardest and most iconic climbs. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave, because I know where you live.